Hi, this is Ronald Johnson, your life coach, mentor coach. And what I do is I help people that are tired of who they are and where they are in life. And this is Gloria, your life coach. I help those who are feeling stuck, struggling with difficulties such as self-doubt, inner judgment, lack of confidence, life transitions, and taking steps forward. And welcome to Life's A Shuffle podcast. Now, you may wonder why it's called Life's A Shuffle. And the reason why we came up with this title was that life is really shuffling. And it doesn't matter where you come from, your background, what age you are, you're shuffling multiple things in life. And the best thing to know in life is everybody faces your struggles and everybody faces what you're going through. But there's hope in learning something about that. So when our guests share their journey, the hope is you learn something in that journey so yourself can navigate the struggles you face, the low self-esteem, the self-confidence. And that's why we call podcast Life's a Shuffle. And throughout this podcast, we share our personal overcoming stories, as well as our guests who shares their personal journey in overcoming their personal struggles. Life's a Shuffle podcast is here to connect like-minded individuals. And thank you for listening to Life's a Shuffle podcast. Hi, this is Gloria Life Coach. Welcome to another episode of Life's a Shuffle. Hi, this is Ron Johnson, Life Coach and Mindful Coach. And welcome to another episode, Life's a Shuffle it's Freestyle Thursday, and I'm super excited because there's so much work I'm working on. Um, the wonderful thing about life and life in general is until you, you're dead, you constantly got to keep working on yourself to improve, to, to learn, to grow, to acknowledge. Um, you know, none of our lives are set. So, you know, you don't have a set path in front of you because things can happen on a whim. So I signed up with a spiritual coach this past week, and our first session was today, four-hour breakthrough, four-hour session. I mean, it is a breakthrough because, man, I'm after the session, I'm super tired. But it, it really honed on the fact that a lot of things in my life are a reflection of past trauma, past experiences. See, we all think that, okay, we've grown, we've learned, but did we say to ourselves, why am I not achieving greatness? Why is this always happening to me? Or what, why, 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 right? Well, until you do the work or, or hire a coach, the why will always exist. But we're a reflection of the inner child. So I did this thing called neuro linguistic um, programming last week. And it was amazing the fact that programs, the programs being, you know, how we view life and our filters and all that stuff was based upon our childhood. So things we face in our childhood tends to become programming in our adulthood, but we just don't know it yet. You know, like the guy that grew up in in, in, in the poverty-stricken environment may grow up and say, I'm never going to be broke again. Or the person that was, let's say, abused or never shown love. So you have an opposite. Let's say, for example, if you were never shown love growing up, you tend not to be able to know how to show love or you want a lot of love. So you get two people, one that doesn't does not show it, and a second person that shows a lot of it. So that's the two variables there. I mean, that's, just, that's a small example of just love and hugs and touches and kisses and all that stuff. So, you know, you want to improve your relationships with yourself, uh, people around you, your career. Man, get out there and do some work. Uh, I'm not talking about just reading a book, listen to Audible, taking some courses. Get out there and really do some work, do some research and Enjoy the life that you can live today. I, I think about Ink Cartel, he said this. Would you rather have a life lived or a life fantasized? The only way to live a better life is to live the life you want now, meaning the present moment, in order to live the life fantasized. If you fantasize about having a different life, you'll never enjoy the life you have currently. So that's kind of my tidbit on really getting out there. I have a lot of work to do, baby, out there. I mean, not baby. I have a lot of work mm -hmm. I have to do for myself. And it's okay. It's okay because I'm learning, I'm growing. And I'm going to, by, by me learning, I can impact people. And if I don't learn, how, who, will, who and will I impact? Right. So what about yourself, Gloria? What's going on this week? 
Um, you know, same thing. I, I'm doing some work for myself as well. And it's it's a lot, a lot of work. It's a process, but at the same time, I'm really enjoying it. Um, there's been a lot of eye opener for me. Um emotionally, but you know, I've it's interesting sometimes how I, I've sat there a couple of times and, you know, taking the courses and thinking, wow, like something just hit me emotionally and I have to really sit back and think it. It's interesting because there are some things that I never thought like, you know, would really hit hard for me. And I think maybe because now it's just, um, it, you know, when you're releasing something, maybe that's been sitting inside I don't know if I've been holding on to that or, you know, something's holding me back. But now it's like when I finally get this chance to release it and like I really feel it and it's it's a crazy feeling. I can't explain it into words, but crazy good. You know, and and, and it's yeah, crazy is good. It, is, but <laughs> Is the release of uh, old energy or the release of. Something you've been holding on to, find what, what does that release look like? Do you want to explain to our, our guests what was release? It, it's was it's everything, a little bit of everything. Something I've been holding on to, maybe for a long time. Um, a release of energy, and, and now I'm kind of like living the day with a different energy now, you know. And I have noticed a difference in me. I have noticed, you know how I have been walking around um, and being in classes with my students. And it's, it's different. Mm, so you're showing, so getting rid of that old baggage has catapulted you into a new conscious or dimension, as I would call it. And now you're improving your life quality. Mm -hmm. and, and I really truly believe now when, you know, when you hear, you know, you got to do the work, you got to do this, do that. And then now, you know, after going through, and we, I think this is within the last couple of years, you know, when I figured out, okay, found out what I believe my calling was. And then I found out, I figured that what I really want, what I really wanted to do, where my passion is, and I found happiness in life coaching. This is what I wanted to do. Um, going to training and, um, getting some work, but it went deeper than that for me. It's almost like soul searching, right? And then now I know, I really know that I am on the right path on this. What I love about that feeling is that you really have to do a lot of work for yourself. And when you do, you'll be able, like what you said, you'll be able to help others even more because you've done the work for, you've done the work yourself. You know, and I believe that after this, everybody needs to do some work on their, on themselves, right? I think everybody does, but not everybody knows that and feels that. I, I've ran into people who believe that they don't have to, that they're fine. There's nothing wrong. There's nothing has to be wrong with you in order for you to do the work. When we say do some work about yourself, doesn't mean that there's something wrong with you or you're going through a certain situation. It, it goes back to the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So if yeah. you think about someone that says, oh, I'm doing no work, I'm just fine. Well, even though the bridge may not be broke, what can you do to prove it? Because mm -hmm. it's certain, if someone said, ah, everything's fine. And that's a really, I would say, a mundane cliche. How many people you count in your life, you ask them how they're doing, and they're like, I'm terrible. Most everybody says, oh, everything's going good. I don't do anything. I, I'm fine. But when you start digging into their life, because some people are not ready to face those skeletons in their closet. All of us have some. Okay? So we can't sit here and say, oh, no, we're perfect. Okay? We're not. When we're not ready to face the skeletons, that's where life is fine. And, and guess what? At that point, life may be perfect for them and where they are, but I can almost guarantee you there's area of their life, be it relationships, career, finances, happiness, commitment. So a lot of people may be fine, but they have commitment issues. And that can be just picking the kids up on time to school, right? I mean, mm -hmm. you always see people say, well, I'm always late. I was born this way. No, that's not, no one's born not to be on time. That's just you. And the other person's idea what time is. 
So you have to really figure out how do you rank your success in life? Like how do you think about success? You know, career relationships, um, you know, friendships, where do you think you rank? And they're like, well, I, I'd like to improve upon that. I think I can be more financially stable. Okay, so then there's something. Well, back to your point about if you really have to do the work to live a more, and the work is you. And the work is figuring out where you want to be in life. Not visualize. Like, I don't want to sit, and sit here and think about, man, 10 years from now, I'm going to be this. Mm-hmm. Okay. You got to work backwards where you are now and where you want to be. Okay. The work starts with you. You know, they talk about manifestation a lot, right? You know, a lot of gurus talk about that. Tony Robinson talked about Les Brown, Eric Thomas, Ray talked about it. Everybody talked about manifestation. And I really didn't believe what that was. And I believe what we mean just, you know, Napoleon Hill talked about a hundred years ago, whenever he was alive. I can't remember when. I really didn't believe what that was and, and quite understand it, right? Just manifest, just think about it and it comes. What it means is that manifesting boils down to a couple of different factors. Well, your thoughts tend to create what shows up in front of you. The universal vibration. So obviously with your thoughts then create a vibrational field. They wonder why you don't have success because you're thinking those thoughts unconsciously to yourself. For example, I was always thinking, man, I need more money. I need more money. I, I want to be financially stable. I need more money. I'm sending out a vibration to the universe. Hey, he's not happy where he is right now. So why does the universe want to give me more? Help me. Because I'm even though I'm saying something consciously, unconsciously, my other signal saying, no, not enough, not enough, not enough, not enough. And then the signal I'm sending out says I need more, but yet you're okay where you are. Mm-hmm. And that's what we need to learn is, are we okay where we are? Are we happy where we are? I'm not talking about the outside happiness of, of buying a new piece of equipment or buying some clothing. Happiness internally. Like, do you wake up every morning and really think about what you're grateful for? No, what gratitude do you have? Do you look and say, what service can I give for others? Who can I help out? Where can, that's that's whole point is really being able to service other people on a more level where you give back. Because helping someone else out internally is giving something back to yourself. That's the really whole idea here. We're so caught up with just doing and not being. That's the best way to put doing right. and not being. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And just know that, you know, sometimes, you know, when you feel like you have all the good things, sometimes the good things have to fall apart so that the better things can fall together. Manifestation, that's another way of doing it. Right. And, and, and you know what? That's just... I would say this is just part of life. You know, some sometimes things in life will fall apart and come together and again, fall apart again and come together. But what is really our role on this? Our role in this is to what? To create space or more space for that to happen. Because then you have to look at the better picture too. Um, the, those better things are things that we have to really look at they are things that we have to um, to create. You know, you can't just sit and wait around for the better things to come knocking at your door, right? <laughs> you know, a person that sits there and waits, will life will pass them by. <laughs> yeah, so you have to create those things for ourselves. You know, like just realize that there is... It's an opportunity for us to do something better. better and how do we create those those things and successes in life? You know, success is different, mm-hmm. right? Right. But how do you create those? Good question. How do you? We're doing it. The way to create I- success is first, what does success mean for you? 
like I, I don't know. Success can be having 100 kids. Success can be being a millionaire. Success can be having the best education. Success can be a lot of different things. First, figure out what success means to you. Ask yourself, what a part of that, me achieving that, will bring me happiness? Third, why do I think I'm not achieving it? You know what? This morning when I was having my breakthrough session. I, you know, success means outwardly, right? That's what I realized after having this breakthrough session. But then she brought something to my attention. Um, she says, you have, you are successful. She says, look, you know, you had a full-time career. You quit that. You had a personal training business. You, you're, you're now transitioning to a full-time coach and coaching and helping people and speaking. Isn't that success? Mm-hmm. I said, damn. Mm-hmm. So I'm where I should be at the right time. See, I'm sitting here waiting for a specific day and time to come, which is, in my case, money, because the idea growing up was I wasn't worthy enough. So because I wasn't worthy enough, if I can earn money, I will achieve worthiness for myself. So the more money I have, right? This is a belief. It's tied up to my worthiness. So the more accolades I get, or awards, or um, likes on social media, or better relationships, the more success or worthiness I feel because it's all outer. Now, how do I make myself worthy? That's the key. The way to make yourself feel worthy is look at your life at this instant, this moment, this time, and see how far you've come. So the success is in looking back so that way at least you can say, man, i come a long way. So just looking at my full-time career, starting another business and starting another business, those are successes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But may not want, be what society think about success or I think, but those are successes. You have to appreciate those. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, another thing is that maybe before also is, you know, having those one after the other and just, you know, waiting to see what comes next. Maybe when you fulfill something like that, that was fulfilling for you and for you that was success and that's what was making you happy. But not realizing that just the progress you've done for yourself was already success, but you were viewing success differently. If I get the right person, the right girl I'm with, oh, she's pretty, she's has, she has everything, she mm-hmm. has that, that's success for you. Exactly. But if you really think about it deep down, are you happy inside nope. with that success, right? So, and that's another thing about getting caught up with, you know, other things in life, like, you never really, then we go back to doing the work. She never really took that time to really just take it in the moment of what was making you really happy and what was that kind of success that you were really feeling deep down. Because you never really looked at the other things that you've done that are far more of a success than the price that you think was you know, making you happy. What it took, and this is the beautiful of engineering and coaching is it took someone outside to bring light to something that's already there. Yeah. That's what it was. So then I thought to myself, how many people that I know have quit the full-time job and started a business? Maybe, maybe a handful or less. Most people are, Got up with the rat race of, okay, I got to find another job and I got to work for somebody or I got to get a better education or I got to get a certificate. I got to get a certain degree to get that job so I can make more money. But no one's really achieving life success. It's kind of what the, whatever society that they deem to be success. So when I started doing the work, then I realized, man, I'm giving so much power to this outside belief uh, the more clothes I have, the more I feel worthy. The better shoes I have, the more I feel worthy. The prettier the girl, the more I feel worthy. The better car, the more I feel worthy. The better restaurant I go to, the more I feel worthy. The better alcohol I drink, the more I'm worthy, right? Because the factory is, the way we do anything is the way we do everything. So how I named off or rambled on about four or five different things, because <laughs> it's the way yeah. I did everything. 
Yeah. I, I can tell you that. You know, going, growing up, I was in a remote control car. So the bigger the remote control car, the bigger I liked it, the more worthy I felt. That's the idea. The better shoes I had, the better clothes, the better job, the more money in the bank, the credit cards, the car, the girl, uh, the electronic equipment, the more I felt worthy. So that tend to, tend to manifest in every area of my life. Mm -hmm. And and in the day, it proved not to be a success at all. <laughs> That's no, the and, and part of it is really some part of it. It's not even for you anymore. Doesn't serve me. No, it doesn't. And it could be that you're doing certain things to please other people. Then we go back to trying to fit in, right? So there's a lot of different um, things on that. And it's just, you know, I'm glad and congratulations that now, you know, you're doing the work and that this is um, happening for you. It, it does take it takes a lot and it takes a lot out of energy out of somebody. But I think in the end, we, you and I know, we both know that this is well worth it. I mean, really like just working on yourself, self-developing. It's, to me, it's, I, I can't even put a price on it. Oh, there's no price. There, oh. There's no price. The return on this, um, just, you know, becoming to be the better person and the better you, the better version of yourself. It's, God, you know, I'm like, I, I'm becoming speechless because I'm really feeling it deep down. It's just so hard for me to express it into words. But I think you get me. You know what I'm trying to say? No, I'm already there. I feel the vibration through the microphone. I feel this... This work, man, I, I go back. The amount of money I'm investing in myself for this work, in myself and learning, if I only have done this 20 years ago, I would save myself even more money. I'd probably have been 10 times richer. But which you don't know what you don't know until you know what you don't know, which is now I know what I know now, not what I knew then. <laughs> so it's a tongue twister, right? Yeah. So I know what I know now. So I'm at the right place I should be. Yeah. We're, we're at the point right now, this may sound really out there, but we're going to make, you and I are at the point, we're going to make some quantum leaps. Not quantum means all of a sudden you come, you know, you get in a jet and you go across the, the galaxy. No, quantum leaps consciously and awareness that's going to help not just ourselves, but our, our, our loved ones, our families, uh, people who are going to coach, people who are going to help, people listen to this podcast. That that's that's to me is the best thing ever. Like this podcast is going globally, around the U.S., around the world, and someone listening to this podcast will now realize, man, you know what? Let me get some help. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, I talk about religion all the all the time, and, and growing up as a Jewish witness. The idea of talking to a therapist or a coach or a psychologist was like, it didn't happen. And, you know, because I know what I know now, I knew I knew only what my parents knew then, that if I had the access to therapists, psychologists, we can really dive deep and I would have saved myself from having bad credit. I would have saved myself from getting to relationships that didn't serve me. Because I, obviously what the thing is over time, you and I are realizing what we're doing or what we did do is not serving us. Right. So me buying all these clothes to keep up with the Joneses, as the old saying goes, isn't serving me anymore. It just doesn't. Now, when I was bodybuilding competitions, taking steroids and all these kind of bullshit drugs, it served me then, but won't serve me now. Like I can't fathom doing it right now. And it, it, so things at a moment in your life right now, those that are listening, do serve you. Don't don't get me wrong. I'm not saying they don't serve you. But if you had something else to serve you or different programming, what would that be and what would it look like? How does it feel? Yeah. And these are also um, the things that, you know, you you did and you've gone through that you said it doesn't serve you anymore. And just same with me. I wouldn't say that that was a mistake. You know, that was for me and, you know, for us. It was what we took out of that was we learned something from it. 
-hmm. you know, we'll take it as a learn uh, and as an experience. And we'll learn from that experience, a learning process that kept us moving forward. Like it, it, for some reason, okay, the way I'm looking at this is like, it sort of created some type of opportunity for us to move forward, maybe forward away from that for something mm -hmm. better for us as we feel mm -hmm. it. That's what Ray talked about this morning was there's something out there better for me waiting. And what I'm doing now is the work to get that better. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean I'm going to buy a lot of ticket tomorrow and win a bunch of money because that doesn't serve me. I don't think having a hundred million dollars at this point in my life will serve me. I mean, and maybe I give it all away to somebody that serves them, but it doesn't serve me. But I'm where we got to realize we're at where we should be at the right time because what we did then did serve us. So what I did, you know, you know, chasing money, chasing cars, chasing women, chasing this, chasing that, it served me. It, re it really did. I mean, I mean, everyone say it did, but at this point in my life, it doesn't serve me now. So a new person is evolving and changing. Mm -hmm. So with that said, I would say, guys, thank you for listening to another, I don't know if say freestyle slash evolution Thursday, but it is evolution and we're always changing. If you guys want to contact us, you can find me on the www.ronjohnsonbusiness, sorry, www.ronjohnsoncoaching.com. I made a uh, mistake on that one. I updated my URL. So it's ronjohnsoncoaching.com. And also join our group, Life's a Shuffle. Comment, let us know what you think. And if we future as a special guest. And this is Ronald Johnson, your life coach. Yes. And um, also just a reminder, we do have a virtual seminar coming up January um, 25th. And that would be from 5 p.m. Pacific time. And, you know, it's how to create change and how to create awareness. So, you know, if you're ready for a change within this this new year that we're going into now, um, join us and you can sign up. You can go to Ron's website or you can go to mine at www.glorialifecoaching.com slash um, events. And also you can find me and my Instagram, Gloria Life Coaching. And we also have um, our Facebook page, Life's a Shuffle. And um, you can join us there, too, um, for any questions, any feedback, or if you'd like to become a guest on our podcast as well. And again, you know, this is Gloria Life Coach. And thank you again for listening to another episode of Life's a Shuffle.